Hey everybody, welcome to Hills and Gills. My name is Chuck. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit that thumbs up. That helps us out. And hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when we upload right here on the channel. We're bringing some of our favorite jig ties. We're going to be tying some flies for trout. Also some streamers for those uh, river smallmouth. And I hope you come along and join us. We got down a link down in the description of the playlist of all the jigs that we've tied so far, how to remove collars off jig heads, and a video on how we pour jigs and also paint them up and stuff. But today, we're tying a Popeye jig for those crappie out there. Crappie are not always looking for that bigger bite. Sometimes a Popeye jig will be the difference between catching a few or filling the live well up. And today, we're doing the chartreuse right here. And red hackle feather Popeye jig. This is a killer. It's got great action in the water and it gets the job done. So guys, let's get this little bad boy tied up. Okay guys, let's get this little Popeye jig tied up here. We're going to start out with the color that we used on it. And we started out with a white base coat or primer of LA colors in white. And then we went with some day glow this is like a chartreuse in la colors uh this is the gel but i can't find it with a sticker up here with the hardeners in it but it'll work great and then i went with a coat of ice lemonade this is like a clear coat with chartreuse flake in it if you find any of this i encourage you to pick it up it just makes jig heads pop out and then you can put a final coat, uh, like a clear coat of uh, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails on it. Or you can hit it with some UV resin, whichever one that you prefer. We're using an A by Do It Today in red thread. And the first thing we're going to do is just work our way right down the hook, right down to the tip. And when we hear that click, we will back back up about a quarter of a way. And the first thing that we're going to be starting out with today is we're going to be using some chartreuse flashing on this tie right here. So we're going to get about four or five strands. Uh, we'll go with five today. We're going to go ahead and get this cut here. Get that snipped off and laid to the side. Now what I like doing is going about midway down and then I just make a loop in it. And bring it all together just like that. Now at this point I want to go right down to the bend of the hook and I want this to be about a half inch, a uh, quarter to a half inch off the back of the hook right there. We're going to lay it right on top of the shank. And we're going to add a couple of loose wraps to get it seated in, and then a couple of tight wraps, just like so. Now, when we once get this done here, we're going to go ahead and get in all those loops, and we're going to cut that and let those kind of hang off. Now, if they're a little bit long, you can always trim them at the end. Now, the excess of this, we're not going to throw it away. We're not going to cut it off or anything like that. We're just going to wrap it right around the shank of this hook right up toward the jig head and then we're going to come right back down with it just build a little body on it now when we get back down toward the end i'm going to lay them right back toward the back with the other ones and i'm going to add a couple of tight wraps to it just like so just put a nice little tail on the back of it and then i'm going to work my way with tight wraps across all that flashing right up toward the back of the jig head just like that now the next thing we're going to be adding is we're going to be adding a hackle feather so we're going to be using red today we're going to go ahead and get this tied right into the side of it here right on the side of the shank of that hook right up next to the jig head give it a couple of nice tight wraps and then we're going to tie that stem in and then we're going to go right back up toward the jig head and at this point we want to take our hackle feathers we're going to spread them out a little bit there and we're just going to do some wraps we're just going to be spiking these feathers up here on 
this tie getting them real nice and tight letting them spike out yeah sometimes it'll slip out your hand but that is perfectly fine there we go it looks pretty good right there then i'm going to grab the end of that tail and i'm going to give a couple of tight wraps down locking that in and then right back up to the jig head and at this point i'm going to cut the excess tail of that hackle wise now from here we're going to grab all of this hackle feather if you have any strays you can either cut them or finish uh, pulling them back and tying them on in and we're going to just lay them back and we're just going to do a few nice tight wraps just laying all those back building that collar up and like I said, if you have any strays, you can go ahead and cut them. And that'd be no problem. Now I'm just building that collar up now. And there we go. And like I said, we got a few strays right here. I'll just grab a hold of those. Just snip them off. No harm, no foul. And on little small jigs like this, I do five turns with a whip finish. There we go, and then I usually take my thread, not to break it, but to seat it down good. We'll get that cut off. And then last but not least, we're going to add our good old Loctite Super Glue. If you use Sally Hansen, that works great as well. But I am a Super Glue fan. So we're going to put one nice drop right up on top of that collar. Take the good old trusty paintbrush and we're going to work all around that collar sealing all of that thread in well there you go guys a simple but a effective crappie jig right there this is a little one and 30 second popeye jig a little hackle feather a little flash and it is a killer when those crappies are looking for like a smaller low profile type uh, jig when you're out there crappie fishing and this will put the crappie in the live well for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you liked it, I hope you give us a thumbs up. Follow us over on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, stay safe out there on the water. And we'll see you right here in the next one. Have a great day.